I'm already excited about this. We're mm. going to show you why. Now, if you've had your fill of turkey over Thanksgiving and looking for something a little different for your next holiday meal, why not serve Cornish hens? They're also personal size servings along with a nice salad. Yeah. Here to show us how to get started mm -hmm. is Tanya Skeeter, who I just met about five minutes ago. I love her already. She's better known <laughs> as the salad lady. Thank you for getting up this morning. I want to say, Steve and I were talking about getting up early. This poor woman has got two hours of sleep because of what she has created here. So, um, <laughs> Let's start with, or what would what do you, this is your show. What would you like to start with, the Cornish hens? Let's start with the Cornish hens. I, okay. I, I want you to baste this for me. I'm putting down my okay. notes. I now, will baste. This is um, strawberry preserves in honey. Okay. In honey, okay. And you can add a little bit of Grand Marnier, if you like. Um, and then you flambe it, just for okay. a moment. Oh, yeah. till you I get love that, fire. Get that little glaze going. Oh, I see. And it's going to crystallize. Don't want to burn the place down, so I'm not going to put the flame up too high. Right. But this is what you do until it browns just a little bit. You see, it's beginning to crystallize. There. It is. Okay, and what that it does smells, it just the aroma gives is a wonderful heavenly. flavor. Well, we don't want to burn it. Let's turn it off. <laughs> and the glaze again, because it's obviously called a glaze. It doesn't permeate too much into the hen. Right, and it's stuffed with um, a wild rice. Okay. And the wild rice is just a simple wild rice recipe. I add a little bit of um, sautéed onion. Okay. You stuff the cavity um, before baking. And you can tie your legs and out a little bit. Better for you than like what we had for stuffing for Thanksgiving because it's the wild rice, a little wild healthier rice. option. A okay. little healthier option. And it's nice for a holiday. Most people have really gotten kind of tired of turkey by Thanksgiving sure. coming through. Okay. So I, and, and instead of just a whole chicken, let's do something a little more creative, a little more right. personal and individual by creating um, a really nice dish with the Cornish hens, a salad, the stuffed ri the rice, and this mixed green salad is a little different than what I've done in the past. This is like a painting. This is uh, asparagus. <laughs> a lot of people don't want asparagus, but I, I found that it does blend well with certain other greens. And these are sweet Zima tomatoes. Okay. And then I see, there's a, is there a dressing on this, or is this no, just the way it's the light is refracting? I believe over it's your the way the vegetables. light is, re okay. is refracting. And then add some artichokes. Okay. Okay. And she did this this morning, I have to tell you. <laughs> she got up, did this this morning, and look how, I mean, this is gorgeous. And I, I think a lot of times when people think of salad, they think of heavy preparation. Can you give yes. us kind of a ballpark on what something like this would take if, if it's going to be maybe, uh, you know, you and, and your husband or maybe a family of four? I mean, it's... I would say you probably won't spend more than $20 on everything, and you can just, this will feed at least four people. That's a big salad. A good, I mean, it, it, particularly if this is going to be uh, a good part of your main course. Right. All right. Some um, times I put chicken or shrimp. Sure. And, you know, beef it up a little bit more, right. and that's a meal by itself. All right. This is going to complement it because you've got a little bit of the, the zesty, sweet flavor. Right. And then you're going to take a little bit of the tangy of the artichoke hearts and um, place a little bit of Italian vinaigrette. Okay. And I think you get a nice balance between the sweet and the salty. And it's not really using salt. You just get a nice blend in your, your flavor palette. And, and Tony, as far as the hens are concerned, do people get a little intimidated because they're maybe about overcooking it because they're small? I mean, they're not difficult to cook, I suppose, is the no, question. No, they're not. 350 uh, oven. And I would say just wait until the legs just wiggle just a little bit okay. and take it out and let it rest. Do not cut the Cornish hen right away. Just let okay. it rest long enough to um, allow the juices to continue to permeate through the chicken, and then you can cut it. And you've got a really good a good dish. I have to tell you, this is absolutely gorgeous. You've done a wonderful job here, as you always do. You're Thank a you. Here to news it's Day. good Thank to you be again. here always. Go take a nap when you go home, okay? <laughs> Eat some you know. salad, go take a nap. And, of course, you can find all our information, <laughs> Tanya's information, on WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut uh, link, and you are going to get... You're going to get more in a recipe. You're getting, you're getting a healthy lifestyle here that she's providing for you. Absolutely. Okay, we'll still ahead.